stuff. Listen, okay? You cannot, like a watch pot never boils, okay? The same is true with magic. If you, Hi, Shireen. I just wanted to express my gratitude and my thanks for everything that you've done. Um, I've purchased a few of your products and I've had a couple of group rituals done and the results that I've gotten, um, even in that short amount of time, just the way that things are starting to move have made me feel uh, absolutely incredible inside and out. And I wanted to talk to uh, some of the people that might be, you know, on you about this thinking, is this going to work? I just gave a whole bunch of my money to somebody. I really want to know that it's going to work because I don't want to just have a bum product and all that stuff. Listen, okay? You cannot, like a watch pot never boils, okay? The same is true with magic. If you hover over it instead of letting it go and letting spirit or the worker do their job, you are going to alter your manifestation. It takes a long time to boil water if you are watching it. Unusually long. So just because you can't see what's happening doesn't mean it's not happening. You cannot control the universe. You cannot force it to go on your time. You cannot control spirit. And people that think that they can are foolish at best. You really have to work with the energy of the universe, the spirits, the ancestors, the guides, to prov that the energy that they provide and channel and direct it toward your, your goal. But you cannot change the way the tide rises. When you're stuck in that energy of win, 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 or wondering why they haven't texted you back, what you're doing is creating a roadblock in the free flow of that energy and making it even harder to move. You're making it harder to make what you need to go through. So the next time you're really all up in your feelings, thinking about breaking rules that Shereen sits up before you and harassing her and Gabby, seeing where things are, I want you to try this, okay? From someone who is a practitioner working with a professional in her field. I wouldn't trust anybody but Shireen with, what's, with what I'm doing here. Make an offering. Make an offering to Shireen's spirits, to her ancestors, to her guides. You just need to be generic. Get some incense. Get some spring water. Get some roses if that's your thing. Um, I got this especially for Santa Muerte. And this is some fancy dragon's blood. Um, and speak your gratitude. Do what you need to do. Get some of her wonderful bath salts for cleansing and protection. Um, take some cedar or juniper or sage and or sweetgrass. God, I love sweetgrass. And cleanse your home. Do what you need to do in order to feel better. And if you are stuck in a feeling and you're really sitting in it and it's hard to get rid of, and I've been there, I know, I have, you know, mental health uh, struggles myself. And what you need to do is the shadow work, my friend. You need to sit with it. You need to sit with that feeling. You need to let it ride. You need to let it breathe. You need to understand why it's happening if you are feeling like really gross and ignored and, and abandoned and awful what you need to do is sit down take that feeling apart from yourself and examine it and understand why it's happening what triggered it what's the root cause of that feeling you need it's going to be ugly work and it's painful but you need to do that because it's going to be part of this manifestation it's coming up for a reason and if you talk to that feeling if you get rid of that feeling you will feel better you will have a better understanding of yourself and the energy will flow and you will have that roadblock cleansed. Everything is happening for a reason. Everything is happening the exact way it's supposed to. Manifestation and magic on the whole is about faith and you need to have faith. You can't see the wind, but you know it's there. You can't see gravity, but you know it's there. Am I right? Okay. Okay. So that's what I want to say. And again, thank you, Shireen, for everything that you've done for me. I am so beyond grateful for even just um, you working on my incredibly difficult case. And thank you, Gabby, for everything that you do for Shireen, for all of us. Um, we are truly, truly blessed to have you. And everybody, just take a breath and chill. Be grateful and do something nice for yourself. I love you. Goodbye.